we deliver. As many, oh, oh Lord, that the devil, oh the Father, has caged and has caused a lot of havoc. Tonight, as we we'll intercede and stand in the gap for such home, you will deliver, O oh God, in the precious name of Jesus Christ. We pray, O oh Lord, that you will empower us to pray tonight. The Holy Ghost will take over the meeting. Spirit of the living God, we pray that carnality and flesh will not take place here. Jesus will reign absolutely. Jesus will rule absolutely. And he will show himself so mighty in our midst, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, there will be instant miracle, there will be instant intervention. And there are those who are ill, and there are those who are sick. As we pray tonight, they will be healed, totally healed, completely healed, entirely healed, fully healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. At this time, I want to begin to give thanks to God, I want to begin to worship Him. Want to begin to praise him, want to begin to honor him, want to begin to exalt him, give him praise, give him honor, give him adoration, exalt his holy name. Our God is great, our God is wonderful. We are serving the living God. I have no other God but thee. Oh, I have no other God but thee. You have done what no man can do. Ah, you will do what no man can do. Oh, I have no other God for thee. Yes, I have no other God for thee. Oh, Lord, you will do what no man can do you will do what no man can do no i have no other god but me i have no love i have no other god but me oh lord i have no other god but me Jesus, I have no other God but you. You have done, you have done what no man can do. You do, you will do what no man can. Lord, I have no, I have no other God but you. Hey, oh Lord, I have no. All that God but you, you will do, you will do what no man can do. <laughs> People are not singing with me. I will do what no man can do. I have no, I have no all that God but you. I have no, I have no all that God but you. I want to thank the Lord because we are serving a God that rules in the universe. The God who opens it and no man can shut. He shut it and no man can open. The Jehovah Elohim, the Jehovah Mekedisky, the Jehovah Tiskeno, the God who has been from time immemorial, the ancient of the day, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the bright and the morning star. Let's bow before him this evening. Let's the bow before him. His majesty, worship him, glorify him for what he will do tonight. Glorify his holy name for the revival hour, for the time of intercessory prayer, for the time of agonizing prayer. Let's honor the Lord because he answers prayer. Let's worship him because he answers prayer. Let's thank him for the previous prayer we are praying. Thank you for the answer that we have enjoyed on this platform. We cannot just rush into asking and asking without thanking the Lord, without praising the Lord. Let's worship him. Give him glory. Give him honor. Exalt him. Exalt him. Exalt him.
Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praising the Lord? In Jesus' name we pray. At least let me hear the voice of one person. It's not proper that I'm just talking. At least one person to reply. That's to show that we're together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now we go before the Lord. We're going to ask the Lord tonight that the God of heaven will envelop us. The God of heaven will empower us to pray. Tonight's prayer is a warfare prayer. And you know warfare prayer, very important prayer. Uh, Paul the Apostle spoke about all kinds of prayer. Uh, all kinds of prayer. Prayer has cadence. Prayer has sizes and shape. Prayer has levels. As well. We have all kinds of prayer. And tonight, we are picking one of the branches of prayer. And that's the warfare prayer. And that's the prayer we are handling tonight. Warfare prayer. I want to go before the Lord and say, Father... Strengthen me as I go into this session. Strengthen me. Empower me. Empower me. Oh God, empower me. Holy Ghost, empower me. Empowerment by the Holy Ghost. Empowerment by the spirit of prayer itself. Empowerment. The Bible says, It shall come to pass that I will fall upon the house of and the, and the inhabitants of Israel the house of David and the habitant of Israel, the spirit of grace and supplication, no doubt. Tonight, the spirit of grace shall descend upon all, no doubt. Tonight, the spirit of supplication, the spirit of battle, the spirit. Let's talk to God in prayer. Let's talk to God in prayer and say, Father, I can't do it on myself. Lord, without your power, empowerment of the spirit, Energy of, 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 of the grace of the spirit, the power of the spirit without you, Lord. How do I lead the prayer tonight? How do I take the people of God into the realm of the supernatural without you empowering me, O oh God? Tonight, I ask you, Lord, that you will do something valiantly. As many, O oh God, will be joining in the prayer tonight, do something unimaginable, do something supernatural. Do something supreme. Do something sublime. Do something, oh God, everlasting. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. We're looking at Isaiah chapter 47. In Isaiah 47, I am waiting for Isaiah 49, rather. In verse 24. That's where we're starting the prayer tonight. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive be delivered? Tonight, we want to see how we can beg the Lord and how we can cry unto him. There are, there are people, people that are, that are, that are, that are defeated on our platform. They're, they're suffering. They're, 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 they're that suffering. They probably uh, were captivated by the enemy. The devil capitalizing on the doors they opened for the devil themselves. And we want to cry for mercy tonight that the mercy of the Lord shall prevail on every captive of the mighty. You want to pray and say, Father, do you know any put open the door to Satan? And Satan have been buffeting such family all this while. You want to cry unto God and say, Father, let mercy flow. As many captives of the mighty in the name of the Lord Jesus, mercy shall speak for them tonight. They will be delivered by the mercies of God. They will be delivered by the power of God. They will be delivered by God's favor, by God's mercy. As many of God who are going through spiritual, as many of God who are going through 
say that shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive be delivered but thus says the lord even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered the scripture says we are are we content before i go there there's a prayer point right there it says that the the source of the, 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 of the mighty shall be taken away as many captives there are husbands uh, uh, there's a sister uh, who normally join, and then you find that you know there are those like that that their husband are being the captive of the mighty, uh, are living a daughter's life, and then you find some women living a daughter's life, or you find some people they 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 are just captive to masturbation, some are captive to pornography, they are church people, yes, they are captive to all so these. Uh, and we want to pray as many who are captives to immorality, captive to adulterous life, captive to pornography, captive to masturbation, captive to all kinds of sexual perversion. Tonight, the Lord will deliver them. The demon behind that captive will set that demon on fire. The demon behind that immorality will set the demons on fire. And we are praying that our people will be delivered. Every captive of the mighty, captivated, those who have been captivated by satanic agent powers and forces, tonight their deliverance is sure. Tonight their deliverance is certain. Tonight their deliverance is real. They will be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, deliver them. Are you praying? Deliver them, deliver them. Deliver them, oh Lord, by your power, by your power. Deliver them, oh Lord, deliver them, deliver them, deliver them, deliver them, oh Lord, by your power, by your power. Deliver them, oh Lord, the Lord will deliver. The Lord will deliver. Yes, the captives of the mighty, those who are bound and chained by morality. Those who are born and chained by pornography, those who are born and chained by all kinds of things, let the Lord literally deliver them. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Mm. Amen. If you look at that, verse 25, it's not done yet. Verse 25, in that said, I will contend with thee that contended with thee. I will contend with him that contended with thee. Hey. I will contend. God is the one speaking. In another place in the book of uh, Deuteronomy, God says, speaking to Moses, he said, I will be an yeah, enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To you. That was God speaking. God said, I will be an enemy to your enemy. That was the promise the Lord gave in that book of Deuteronomy. And here God said, I will, uh, and I will be an adversary to your adversary. That's in the book of Deuteronomy. And here the Lord is saying, that we contend with thee. 
and I will say, okay, before we go to the other part, we want to pray right now. Uh, as many who are contending with you, contending with your destiny, contending with your future, contending with your Christian life, contending with your ministerial life, contending with your marriage, contending with your job life, God will begin to contend with them. If you know what that means, begin to engage God to contend with your contender. Engage God to contend with your contender. Do you understand that prayer point? Engage God to contend with your contender. Oh, Jesus, I engage the heavenly. I engage the monarch of Zion. I engage the one who have been from time immemorial to engage in with my enemy, with the oh, oh God, the enemies of your Morewa. You said you will contend with me that contend with me. Thou monarch of Zion, thou monarch of Zion, thou monarch of Zion, I invoke, I engage, I ask that you contend with the enemies of my ministerial life, enemies of my future, enemies of my children. Enemies of my wife, enemies of my job, enemies of my life, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the Spirit of God. Are you praying? Are you kabashi? Are you calling upon God? Are you crying to God? Are you asking the Lord to contend with your contender? To contend with those who are contending with you, those witches and wizards, those powers of darkness. Pray. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. In Jesus' Amen. precious name, we pray. Amen. We are going to pray in that verse 25. I'm not done. And I will save thy children. The Bible says, I will save thy children. Parents who are here, you will not, your children will not die and leave you. Scripture says, I will say, I like you to know you don't go with your children to everywhere they go. They go. Now, 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 understand how sophisticated the world has become. The devil is the fighting, devil, fighting, 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 and nail to make sure that your children are not safe. We are going to pray spiritually, our children will be safe. Our children will be saved. I'm telling you, chemically, all around, they will be saved. If the devil tries to attack their spiritual life, the devil will fail. If the devil tries to attack their spirit physically so that they die or they encounter an accident or something bad will happen, the devil will fail. God said, I will save. God said, I will save thy children. Yes, my children will be saved. Only one fair, I mean, you will be saved. You, anyone, you will be saved. My children will be saved. The Holy Ghost will keep them in the day, in the night. The blood of Jesus that speaks better than the blood of Abel. It will speak for my children. In that day, the blood of Jesus, my children will be saved when they are sleeping. My children will be saved when they are walking up. My children will be saved when they are in school. My children will be saved when they are in school ball. My children will be saved when they are at home. My children will be saved when they are together. My children will be saved in school. Saved everywhere. Yes, the hand of God shall rest upon them. They will be carrier of the presence of God. They will be carrier of the position of God. They will be carrier of the power of God. They will be carrier of the anointing of the Holy Spirit. My children will be saved everywhere. Are you praying and talking to God in prayer? Are you laying hands if they are dead? Tell God about them. If they are very close to you, then you lay hands on them and say, You, you first, you are going to be saved. Yes, I am laying hands here too. Yes, laying hands here in the name of Jesus. Here yeah, you are going to be saved. As I'm doing here, you can do it over there. If you are close to your children, lay hands on them. Lay hands on them. Demon will not have an ear into your children. Occultic power will not have an ear into your children. Demonic power will not have an ear hold. Yes, 
the Lord Jesus. Yes, the scripture says they will be saved. They will be saved. They stone that we hear today of some teachers, you know, doing evil, doing evil. There are some teachers that are unclean, and then they want to call the children. They want to take their blood. They want to initiate them. My children will not be initiated. No demon will initiate my, my children. No powers of darkness. The Bible says that they shall be saved in the name of Jesus. And they go to the second school, they will be saved. As they go to the university, they will be saved. As they graduate, power shall take them. And my children shall be saved. My children will not die untimely. I will not lose my children. They will not die untimely. They will not die young. I will not win over my children. They will not cause me hypertension. They will not cause me tears. They will not cause me sorrow. Oh, Jesus, pedophiles will not wait my children. Ritualists will not see my children as a vulture. No more spiritual, my children. No spiritual power, Lord, we have an evil. My children will be untouchable for Satan. My children will be untouchable for Satan. My children will be untouchable for that day. The Bible says they should be saved, they will be saved. I am my children, what the Lord has given to me. My children will be untouchable In their school, they will cast out demons. In their school, they will in their school, they will be carrier of power, carrier of glory, carrier of splendor, carrier of the image of God. Children, oh God, we carry. They will be carrier of the majestic power of the mighty God. In the name of Jesus, my children will not be nuisance to society. My children will not become nuisance to the church of God. My children will not become nuisance to society. My children will not become nuisance in the family. In the name of Jesus. The Bible said they'll be saved. Are you praying? In Jesus' name, I pray. Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I'm going to coming back to that scripture again in verse 26. And I will feel them that oppressed thee with their own flesh and be drunk on with their own blood. I want to pray right now. Those who have been trying to make sure that you collapse and that you go down. The Bible says that they get the fish. Whatever be they have done for you, my brother over there, whatever be they have done for you over there, my sister, whatever be they have done for you, family man, whatever be they have done for you, any beat from hotel, they will fall in that pit in the name of the Lord Jesus. By the Spirit of God and by the power of the Spirit, by the power of the Holy Spirit, they shall fall into the pit they have dug. Any pit, any grave they have dug. My Bible tells me, he that get it shall fall into it. Have they dug that pit for you, they will fall into that pit they have dug. Have they dug any evil pit? Owners of evil, your Lord. Owners of evil, carry your Lord. Owners of evil, carry your Lord. Owners of evil, look, carry your load from the water, carry your load from the land, carry your load from the water, carry your load from the land, carry your load. Owners of carry owners of carry from the water, carry your load from the land, carry your load. Owners of evil load, carry your load. Owners of evil load, carry your load. Whatever load they are packaged for you, whatever load they are packaged for your wife, whatever load they are packaged for your children, command in the name of Jesus. I refuse to carry load that is meant for me. I refuse to carry embargo to Satan. I refuse to carry load to I refuse to so God to be an experiment for the devil. Children will not be an experiment for Satan. My wife will not be an experiment for the evil one. I will not be that power. For the dark power. For Jesus. No, sir. Keep me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Amen. Amen. We are going to have this prayer very important. We are going to pray this prayer concerning charity, all the territorial power, all the territorial power around charity. The devil does not want anyone to be saved in Isaiah chapter 4, uh, 14. We're told that it does not lose, it does not open the eyes of his prisoner free easily. You have to engage for a soul to be rescued from sin. You have to engage in prayer for a soul to be let loose by Satan. You have to engage in battle. You have to engage in prayer. You have to call upon God in, you know, like that, like that. And then, only then, can you let, you know, capture soul. You capture soul to prayer. I want to pray right now. As many, oh God, in heaven, around charity as a, that God has planned their salvation. As many, as many, oh, the Bible says, well, we have all men to be saved. But are all men saved? No. Because the devil has blindfolded them. The devil has blindfolded The devil has blinded their eyes. I want to pray and say, Father, as many of God, that territorial power of charity has blindfolded and have, you know, closed their eyes, the Lord will begin to open their eyes. They will begin to have vision of the cross. They will have vision of Calvary. They will have vision of hell. They will have vision of hell. They will have vision of judgment. They will repent in the name of Jesus. And over there, we conquer the land for Jesus. That land will be conquered for the Lord. That land will be conquered for Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus, there is no power. There is no power for me. Submit your power. Every strong man in charity will submit. Every strong man in charity will submit. Strong man submit your power. Every strong man there, strong man there, in the name of the Lord Jesus, they will submit their power. Oh God, my Father, I am strong man submit. I command your power, the Holy Ghost. Every gang of them, every gang, of them, every gang of from them, every gang of them. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, the gospel shall prevail in charity. The gospel shall prevail in charity. They will surrender to the Lordship of Jesus. The men and women there will submit. The men and women there will the voice and the and surrender to the Lordship. And the church of God will prosper. And the church of God will move forward. And progress in Jesus' name. We pray. This problem, where did they come from? By any time, we go to win. We pray. Amen. Now, there's a prayer I want to pray. There are some stubborn agents, stubborn power. You remember in the Bible days, how 40 men 
they made a vow, they covenanted. And what was the covenant? They said they weren't going to eat, they weren't going to drink, they weren't going to take anything until they have killed, until they have executed, until they have eliminated for the apostle. Can you imagine? How could people do such a thing? How could you imagine such a thing that they will, somebody will say, no, I will not eat until I do this, until I carry out. No wonder this dark power, they can also fast like believer, even fast, much more. Some of them, because they want to carry out evil. We want to pray every stubborn and covenant that have been made over the life of our people on the platform. And those of you that are praying now, the Bible tells me, together, it shall be broken in pieces. Every covenant from Coven, every covenant from Marie, every from Pakistan, every covenant, every covenant is broken. No covenant we want to break. Why? Because I free from the covenant of the Lord. I am under the covenant In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Now, we want to do something very carefully. And the reason why we are the reason why we are doing this, sometimes you find the new generation uh, uh, church, uh, they major in some things, and they, they rule out some aspects. As much as we are praying warfare, some, the reason why some of these dark power have a way to penetrate into the life of even certain believer is because of what we are told in Psalm uh, 66, and in verse 18, if I regard it, the Lord will not hear me. Ephesians chapter 5, in Ephesians chapter 5, what told something there in that Ephesians chapter 5, or is it chapter 4 now? Uh, Ephesians chapter, um, yes, chapter 4, verse 27. Neither give place to the devil. What is this place is saying? Don't give allowance to Satan. How do you give chance? How do you give space? How do you allow Satan? It's when you permit sin to permeate into your life. When sin comes in, it paralyzes that believer. And it makes that believer to easily be accessible by demonic power. And so they can easily infiltrate into the life of that person. That's why holiness is mighty and powerful. That's why righteous life is a very powerful life. That's why cleanliness, a life without stain or blemish or spot, is a very powerful life. Look at it. How do you enter into this man in Zechariah chapter 3? And he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuked you, even the Lord. 
rebuild day. It's not this Abraham plucked out of the fire. Joshua was clothed with filthy garment and stood before the angel. Now we could not see the reason why. About this thing over and over. The reason why you find some believer, they will just pray on situation and it remains. They pray on the uh, some, you know, they, they resist Satan, they resist demon, and these demons are not obeying them, and they are not, they are not, they are not being cast out, or they are not listening to them, or they don't even regard or respect them. It's because sometimes many floated with few day garments, unknowing to them. Few day garments, few day garments. And this few day garment, the devil understand this spiritual warfare very well. The devil understands that once your hands are stained, then you look your, your authority. Once your hands are stained, your heart is dirty. You lose your authority or your voice in the spirit. And that's why we want to pray, servant of God, people of God, we want to check out if there is any dross of sin, any accusation of sin, any blemish of sin, any stain of sin, anything whatsoever that will make us to lose our authority, to lose our place, to lose our power, to lose that, what God has bestowed, that the devil cannot regard our prayer. Let the Lord cleanse. Let the Lord put. Let the Lord purify. Let the Lord make clean in the name of Jesus Christ. We saw Zechariah here. He lost his place. He lost his place. Why you not God intervention? Why you not God intervention? Look at it. Devil was resisting him. He was and he couldn't penetrate. Why? Because of the few garments he was clothed with. How many there are are filled and are saturated with few garments? How many there are that their their hearts and their lives are dirty? And yet they want to command Satan and command demon and command powers of darkness. No wonder. The devil does not respect such prayer. That's why we are praying and asking that we will be cleansed and purged and purified totally and completely so that we do not lose our authority in the spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Lastly, lastly tonight, I want to specifically, last time tonight, nine, 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 nine. specifically pray for those who are having needs, who are having challenges. And in case you are there tonight, you have obvious challenge. You have obvious challenge. I mean, something that is so obvious. Let's assume you are sick, you are ill, or you are standing in for someone. Yes, I'm going to pray shortly after this last prayer. And I'm believing God that the power of the Lord we touch you, you will be fine, you will be ill. And if you are standing in for someone, the Lord will touch that person too, and the person will be healed, and the person, and the person will, will be healed. Last prayer point uh, before I hand over to Pastor Ali is we are going to ask the Lord tonight that those who are having peculiar challenges, either among our pastors, among our members, and I have a prayer point tonight of one of our pastors that was taken to the hospital this evening. I believe as we pray for him now, the hand of the Lord will touch him and he will be perfectly whole. Pastor Utman by name, he will be healed and he will be delivered totally from that illness in the name of the Lord Jesus. Pastor Utman, the Lord deliver you. Pastor Utman, you are healed. Pastor Utman, you are all right. Now let's pray for as many of our brethren that you know anywhere yourself going through one challenge or the other. Let's pray that you put a complete intervention. The Lord will heal, the Lord will deliver, the Lord will destroy the powers of darkness that is causing that challenge. There are some challenges that are not ordinary. There are some challenges that it is the powers of darkness that are infiltrating into that challenge, into that life. If there are powers like that, tonight an end comes to them. The Bible says, it is the Lord. He shall make an altar tonight. God will make an altar end, and that situation will come to an end. Let's quickly conclude. Our Father, we thank you. We glorify you. 
we honor you and we worship you. Thank you, Lord, for the way and the manner you have led us to pray tonight. Thank you because you answered prayer. Well, the scripture says that if we regard iniquity in our heart, you won't hear. You are not a sentimental God. You are not a sugar daddy God. You are a God of principle. You are a God of justice. If there is sin in the life, the Bible says you have a purer eyes than to behold iniquity. We are even told in that scripture, you cannot look at sin. sin, 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 sin. Like where, where there are sin, oh God, where there are sin, oh God, where there are blemish, oh well, where there are accusations of the devil. And Lord, we read in scripture that the property of the mighty shall be taken away. Tonight, you reveal to all. And pray, oh Lord, that all things and blemish and spot and people may be taken off. And every captive of the mighty, those who have been captivated by morality, captivated by the past of darkness, captivated by carnality, captivated by fleshly lust, captivated by situation of life, captivated by what they confessed years past, and that they were going to become lawfully captivated by their own confession. I pray tonight you will deliver such tonight in Jesus' name. Let there be complete total deliverance for these people in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare healing over your people. I decree and declare open door for your people. I decree and declare darkness be dispelled from the life of as many who are experiencing darkness and gloominess in Jesus' name. Spirit of the living God, intervene in the situation and in the life of everyone. Let there be an open door. Let there be a testimony. Let people see that our praying is not in vain. Let that be a dividend for our consistent prayer. Show us the token of your goodness. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for the strength you have bestowed tonight. Be thou forever glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Pastor Ali, sir. Pastor Ali is not online. Please, Pastor Matthew, over to you, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's praise the name of the Lord. Open your mouth and God for being the particle of today's program. Let's thank the name of the Lord because by the power and the power blood of Jesus Christ, God is not going to leave you alone. Call upon the name of the Lord on behalf of our leader that have led to this prayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That by the power and the power of Jesus Christ, wonderful thing, things it has, has never happened in his life before, on the life of his wife, on the life of his business, in the life of him himself. That by the power and the power of Jesus Christ, God is going to lift him up. Yes, he has left his own situation, he has left his own, let me say, even family at this particular hour to come and pray along with us. Let's call Let's upon call the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, whatever may be the situation, that by the power and the blood of Almighty God is going to be in the name of Jesus. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. It's God that answers prayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has never disappointed anybody. Yes, it's business. You may not know he's a good teacher. He's teaching on the line, he's teaching uh, in the class. How can the business succeed? Not many people come on to, the, to his class. Call upon the name of the Lord, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God that has given him wisdom to establish that business, by the power and the blood, God will continue to raise his head up. He will not go down. Let's pray for Brad Benjamin. Okay, By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, all devices of devil, all the of devil, of devil all the agenda of devil upon him, upon his family. You know, confess in the name of Jesus Christ. 
that all his captivities by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, oh, Almighty God is going to return in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Yes, God has just blessed their family. Uh, you know, the people of the world, they're proud of their own. We do, we proud of our own here. We appreciate success. We appreciate, we appreciate what God has done. Let's pray, continue to pray for his junior brother. And he has taken the power of Taraba State. You may not know, and he will pardon me for mouth to be loose. As his brother has taken the, the power of Taraba State, he's the governor. That by the power and the blood, Almighty God will continue to guide, guide the, the, the brother. The King of Kings will continue to guide this, the brother. Yes, the, their family have a name in Taraba. The God has been using them mightily. That by the power and the blood, of Almighty God will continue to lift them all. That what God has done for the family to give them another. Uh, Strong. God will continue to use them mightily. Let's pray for Pastor Paul Barney. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, way that has never been open. Financially. Oh, Lord. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will show him the way. You know, that's one thing I've been telling people. There's something I done this year. I've never done in my life. It has never come to my mind. I just woke up this morning and I took my pen. No, I took my computer and the, my phone. And I wrote my song. I said, dear song, I just want to thank Almighty God for my life. All what I've been asking God, there's nothing he has never done. The only thing that I've never stopped asking after he has done another thing. Let's call upon the name of the Lord on behalf of Brother Pastor Paul. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, he will have a breakthrough. Financially, materially, by the power and the blood, God will raise air that will lift his hand up from the north from the south. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Is anything too difficult for God to do? Yes, he may not have anybody, but he has God. He may be a stranger in the land of the foreign land. Yes, God has brought him in. What do you want to say about Abraham? Leave your father, leave your mother, leave your family, leave your generation, or go to the Place, I will show you. Um, Abraham, Abraham received the mercy of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That's what properly we receive the mercy of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. If God does not answer prayer again, he answers. If you do his wonder in his life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray for Pastor Doc. Okay, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will continue to use him mighty fully. Whatever be the arena, whatever be the stubborn block in his ministry, in the financial situation, anything that concerns him, concerns him family, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to remove in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. New thing. God is going to do in his life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. What is that thing that is, is at desire? Yes, he carried the body of others. But only God can carry his own body. Let's call upon the name of the Lord in the ministry. Financially, materially, in all way of his life. God will uplift Pastor Duke in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing one of our brother on the line. You pardon me to use brother. 
this Abi Omojola. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. God has called him into our means this evening. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, he will not go empty handed. More revelation, more closeness to the Lord, more, uh, 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 more uh, acceptance to the word of the Lord, more obedience to the word of the Lord, more hearing from Almighty God, more submission to Jesus Christ, God will give to him in the name of Jesus Christ. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, as he is in our midst today, God will visit him surprisingly in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us promote ourselves. Let us pray for them. They have no any other place to go except the means of the brethren. The people of the world, when they see this opportunity, they use whatever they have to support their own. Let's support Lord. our own with prayer. Jesus, Lord of us. Let's support our brother. Abi Omojola, that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, whatever, what? whatever he lays his hand upon, the point of cross in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me for him. Let me for him. Let me for him. Let me for him. I see my brother Adeni Gideon. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. What the name? For the Remember the name, 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 the Holy oh, Father, God, I just God, I am praying and I'm that asking. That no thing, no thing of the world, no thing of this satanic world, beyond of God, him in the name Father, of Jesus Christ. Pray, oh God, that every device, the joy of the Lord will continue to abide for him. Whatsoever he lays his hand upon, the joy of, of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ will continue to multiply. From the north, from the south, from the east. Oh God, I pray. You the world will bow down for him in the name of Jesus. He will be a dominion. All over the earth. All the desire, all the temptation. In the name of Jesus Christ. We win so. For that we God. Let us pray for Pastor Michael Holiday. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God. We continue to honor his humility. God will continue to honor his acceptance. What do I mean with acceptance? That's what he craves upon our pastor. He never jealous. He never said this. The same ministry I am is the same ministry he's doing. I will not let him overcome it. No! He made it to surrender for all other people in his program. I learned from him. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. By the power and the blood of Jesus, his humility. God will continue to promote him in the name of Jesus Christ. When you want to kill somebody, when you want to kill the ritual man, just take humility out of his life. What is opposite of humility? What is opposite of humility? Opposite of humility? Pride. He didn't let pride come into the life of a person. And this is me. This is my gift. This is what God has given to me. That person has gone. Call upon the name of the Lord. That he will continue to excel in the name of Jesus Christ. Now let's pray for all our leaders. Yes. I don't bother. If anybody has to so attend all Lord. As far as I see some people that I know they supposed to be there. You know, many people they don't look for Jesus, they look for what they want to eat, they look for what they want to pray. 
And the middle is not there, especially when we are talking about revelation. And then you know the standard of people like the word of the law surpassing revelation. So I be receiving a lot of messages, a lot of things. But I've done my research and I see that in other platforms, one of our pastors has added another thing. And you know that what it means. But my belief is that what led the person to leave our platform is what that will let him leave the other platform. But let's call upon the name of the Lord. The sound doctrine of the word of the Lord. The obedience of the word of the Lord that we have never compromised in this platform. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, people will hold it in the name of Jesus Christ. We gather here because of holiness, not because of human being. Let's call upon the name of the Lord that by the power and that, that only let will continue to reign. So do not forget prayer. When we are talking about preaching, you can see many people. Look at the picture of Simon of the Mount. You can count 5,000 people. When someone comes to the church, get some money. How many people? Jesus. Only three of them. Jesus Christ can just soak along. Peace, to call upon the name of the Lord for those who are leaders, for Jesus. those who are committed to holiness, Commit, committed to the word of the Lord, committed to the, uh, to the assignment of the Lord, committed to the standard things of the Lord, that by the power of the Lord, they will not weigh down. God will continue to increase us. The mighty hand of the Lord will continue to increase us. And the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the message of holiness, the prayer of holiness, that everyone of us carry along for more than four years, for more than five years, that by the power and the blood will not rest. The strength of the Lord will continue to establish us. The mighty hand of the Lord will continue to be with us. We pray for all our pastors, all our pastors. That they will not look at the human being, they will continue to look unto Jesus, the finishers of our faith. Yes, attendance matter, but what matter most is the standard, the word of the Lord that we are bringing in. Call upon the name of the Lord on the last day. We don't find what thing. The joy of the Lord will be our strength. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. So, uh, brother Abi Omojola, please, we, I know one day we'll be able to hear from you. And then, uh, brother Adini Gideon, uh, one day we'll be able to. Can I just see you say hello to us? Maybe good evening. <laughs> good evening, brothers, uh, yeah. sisters. Yeah, my name is Abi Omojola. God bless you, sir. I hope our, our pastor are hearing you. Uh, bro, uh, Denny Gideon, I will hear you too, sir. Uh, good evening. Okay, sir. God bless you, sir. Uh, so, uh, 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 I don't know what to say. <laughs> I thought you were making me to land up later. But this is a prayer group by the grace of the Lord uh, of Deeper Life Bible Church, a lot of here in the United States, but by God help us to spread. I can boost that all over the world. Please, <laughs> pardon me to use that word. And then the grace of the Lord will continue to be with us in Jesus' name. We have a lot of our pastors in our Amen. midst. And the Almighty God has continued to use them. And then we thank God for the uncompromising of the word of the Lord. And they, our, they never compromise. And I pray that Almighty God will continue to lift them up in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, so I so we will continue to want you to be joining us. We have a lot of platform. We have YouTube. Uh, that you will not go to our YouTube. You will you will not want to leave. Uh, we have a prayer platform. Uh, you will see it in the where you join up. Uh, and then. Uh, I can give, I can boldly give you my number or any of our pastor number, but my own name is Pastor Matthew Akamo, and then my, in you both in YouTube and then in Facebook and all that other things, you will see Matthew Akamo, and then my number, I can give you, there's no big deal, it's 434-962-6622.
434-962-6622. Sometimes, if you call, if I don't know the person, I may not pick the phone. I only prefer messages so that we know the person that is talking to me before I go into conversation. So in case that one is accomplished, you'll bear with me. God will continue to in Jesus' name. Uh, Amen. Uh, Pastor Omarewa, God bless you, sir. You can round up for us and pray for us. And then we have our, our Saturday program, which is... Uh, uh, what is the title, sir? Saturday program. Hour of victory. Hour of victory. So, please, join us by 8 o'clock on... Uh, in Nigeria time. 2 p.m. 2, 2 p.m. About uh, America time here is 8. 8. 8 in the morning. So at uh, 2 p.m. in uh, afternoon in Nigeria time. So any other thing, uh, we are very, I'm very sorry to use this language. We are very popular on the Facebook, YouTube, and then WhatsApp. So you can get any information. But if there's any other information, please get in touch with any one of us. Or you put it on the platform. God will help us in Jesus' name. We are your brother. It is because of you we are, we are here. And it is because of us you are here there too. God will be with us in Jesus' name. Amen. So, Pastor Yomi, stand up for us. You have anything to say? It's Pastor Yomi, not there. Pastor Mike, stand up for us. Our Father who art in heaven, we return all the glory to you. We want to thank you for the way you have led us tonight. Thank you, Father, for your promises that are here and amen. You have told us that where two or three are gathered together in your name, you say you are in the midst of them. We may be gathered together from different countries, different locations. We know you are with us. Every prayer, every request, that we have tabled before you tonight. Father, we pray in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, answer every prayer to the latter in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray as we go to sleep tonight. Oh God, I pray there will be visitation of power, visitation of grace, visitation of unction, visitation of healing, visitation of abundance, Visitation, O oh God, Father, to fire on. O oh God, I pray you will visit us, visit our household, visit our <laughs> ministry mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. We cover our family with the blood of Jesus. We cover our ministry with the blood of Jesus. It is well with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name. Mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you. God bless. Let's share the grace together. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely. Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you, sir.
I believe that God created you for a specific purpose. He's called you to And everyone will be blessed in Jesus' name. We thank you because you love us. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for your love. 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 So that the benefit of the word will come to every one of us. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. We come to chapter 3 of Acts of the Apostles as we are studying our Bible. As we understand, we have already studied from chapters 1 and 2. And there are some verses in chapter 2, the concluding verses you want to look at because and they form a very good connection with chapter 3. I'm looking at here from chapter 2, verse 41. Then, did I go?
We're anesthesiologists. Abraham experienced it and his name was changed. Sarah experienced it and she got laughter. Abraham experienced it and his name was changed. Sarah experienced it and she got laughter. Moses experienced it and he went from hiding to leading. David experienced it and became God's beloved. Elijah experienced it and brought down fire. A savior has come to you. A healer has come to you. A deliverer has come to you. A redeemer has come to you. You will not miss your miracle. Now, it's your time. Experience the supernatural in this month's Global Crusade themed The Glorious Visitation of Christ happening live in Ghana. God is ready to move. Also featuring our ministers, church workers and professional conference, team enabling grace and power for the end time harvest. The youth aren't left behind as they are moving upward to higher heights with the Impact Academy. Join us from the 28th to 25th of April at Independence Square, Osu, Accra. The word of power would be broadcast worldwide through satellite, radio, TV, and the GCK social media platforms. We will be blessed by glorious music from choirs around the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Give me a good, good shemulu. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for the Bible study tonight. Thank you for your people. Thank you for so many newcomers that are here with us. We're praying, Lord, that tonight you'll reach their lives in your word in Jesus' name. The fathers and the mothers and the children and the younger people who have come, Lord.